What is going on survivors? Today we are going to be talking about taming the Dodicurus or Dodicurus. It's often called different things and I feel like I'll pronounce, uh, mispronounce it probably. I don't know. I, I usually been mispronounce things. You guys usually know me. The armadillo looking dude. Uh, the roly poly guy, the guy that gathers stone for us. Let's talk about him and then where to find him and how to tame him. So uh, let's go over the abilities first, which is pretty cut and dry with these guys. Most people kind of know what these things do. Uh, they harvest stone for you. They have a tail attack that I can walk up to here. Smack this for you. They'll pick up sand off of the sandstones for you as well, but then they'll also pick up stone for you, which is super useful. And that is pretty much it. But that's the primary attack, right? Boop. There we go. So the secondary attack, when we hit it and hold it in, I start going into this rolling mode, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously, I'm starting to get a little weighted down, so I'm moving a little slow. Uh, but it can actually cover, if you're not super encumbered, you can actually cover a decent amount of ground with this. Uh, the other thing to pay attention to is that the Dodicarus gets a 75% weight reduction on stone. So stone weighs 75% less. I can carry a whole lot of stone on this guy without having to worry about it. He will grab things, obviously, like thatch and like cactus sap off of trees and stuff like that. But not, it's very effective at it. Uh, but the option to just be able to roll means I can cover distance kind of well. Um, your stone harvesters, for sure. Primarily, that's what you're using these guys for. They can harvest other stuff too. Um, it's like I said, sand, even like obsidian, a little bit of metal, things like that. But primarily, you're going to use them for picking up stone. And they are incredible at it. Now, they do like an auto harvest too. So if I get in range of rocks and just kind of leave this guy to do his thing, he'll eventually just go ahead and manhandle these stones too. Um, like Drew. You're making a liar out of me. You know that, right? There he goes. Bam. They just hit rocks that are nearby. Doo, 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 doo. Park him. Go here. Yep. And he'll just do it by itself. So it's really convenient to have this guy maybe by your base, by a rock formation close by that respawns, that doesn't um, despawn due to you building. Because then you can just come by this guy every now and then and have stone on him, which is super convenient. Uh, but he'll sit here and do this. Now, I did notice this. You can see this going on right now. It looks like sometimes if the rock is just out of range or just inaccessible, you won't actually hit it. He'll sit there and keep trying, but it'll keep missing. So kind of want to play with that a little bit to make sure you're getting into a spot that's going to work well. There we go. You're starting to clip those two. And that's pretty much it. Uh, they do have an ability to take damage reduction. You probably see these guys out in the wild curled up into a little ball. When they start to take about, I think it's about a third of their health or two thirds of their health go down, they curl up in a little ball and they take like a 90% damage reduction. So it's really hard to kill them after that point. Taming them is pretty simple. They're pretty knockout tame and we'll talk about how to do that right now. Right, little man? All right, so taming a Dota Curious, you usually find these guys in mountainy sort of style areas typically. Taming these guys is pretty straightforward. You're just gonna shoot them with a Trank Dart. They're going to get aggressive when you shoot them. They're not normally aggressive, so you don't really have to worry about that. And as you can see, they're not going to move terribly fast. So it's not like you really have to worry about this thing coming after you. Is this one? Well, no, no he's coming back after me. Uh, but these clearly, as you can see, they don't move very fast. This one's already trying to run. And it's probably going to knock out here in a second. Uh, if it starts taking too much damage, okay, it's already knocked out. But if it does start taking too much damage, it will curl up into a little ball and that way... Uh, might have to shoot it with a little bit more tranks than usual, but you should be okay. It's a pretty routine, safe tame to do. Another one of those, pay attention to your environments, the things that are around you, not so much the data curious itself. It's really not gonna, they're really gonna mess with you that much. Uh, these guys are herbivores, so any sort of crops and vegetables, berries, stuff like that. But if you're looking for the kibble, it is the regular kibble that we're gonna be feeding this guy. Pretty straightforward tame. Um, just plug the food into it, knock it out, plug the food into it, and we should be good to go. Again, I would say because these guys are typically towards like mountainy style areas, you could run into some saber cats or wolves or even some big stuff like T-Rexes in the area. So probably just be safe. If you're doing this on foot, just be very mindful of your surroundings. If you want to make a pen, you can make one, but it's definitely not mandatory. Uh, and also if you have a flyer, obviously the flyer could just pick this guy up and just shoot him away and drop him off in a pen in a safer area or in your base and you could just tame it that way too. But again, we always like to try to do these on foot. So yeah, I'm going to play the waiting game till Mr. Dodecurus is tamed and that will be the end of that. Again, pretty straightforward. Just shoot it, knock it out. You don't need bulls or anything like that. Like the, these guys just don't move very fast. You can outrun them pretty quickly and you can catch up to them if they run away with, uh, with, with ease. 
I think most players that are already familiar with the Ark universe are probably going to tell you that between the Dota Curious and the Ankylosaurus, those are your two, one of your the two biggest workhorses. Uh, mainly because one can gather all the metal for you and then one can gather all the stone for you, making building super, super easy uh, for you later on down the road. Uh, I, they're definitely workhorse animals and the crazy weight reduction makes them hella useful too. Uh, the damage reduction and, and, and when they're out there fighting for you is pretty nice and they do have a pretty good health for their stats because we're looking at like a level 15 right now and almost got a thousand health on this guy so their health isn't too bad so they're surprisingly tanky for their size uh, so I wouldn't be too afraid to take on things that are roughly the same size as it uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that uh, they will curl up when they're tamed as well so if they take too much damage while they're tamed they'll curl up the only way to get rid of then they'll start to ignore like whistle commands and things when they're curled up so the only way to get, ignore that is to mount the dota curious itself and move it and that'd be the only way you're going to get it to respond so definitely pay attention if you have ones that you're not riding just kind of sitting around you're trying to whistle to them and they're curled up not listening that's definitely why uh you can breed these guys they are mammals and they do eat berries so pretty straight forward concept I like these little roly-poly guys. I like resource critters that do a lot, like gathering all this stone for me, but they're also size like efficient. Like I like the fact that these guys are really small. I don't have to take something like a rock hole and not to go harvest stone with it. I could take a guy like this, like really like this guy, an anklo, maybe the giant beaver, and then like a flyer. And you can pretty much gather everything that you need to gather for the most part. You know, you have like the, the beaver gathering the wood and stuff berries for you. The Anklo gathering, you know, like the metal obsidian crystal. And then you have the Dota Curious gathering a stone for you. The RG can pick him up and carry him around all over the place. But just those creatures alone, you pretty much have all the harvesting requirements that you're going to need. And the fact that these guys do this automatically is kind of nice too. And, and again, if, you get, if you're on Scorcher trying to make Adobe structures, this guy's going to be worth his weight in gold gathering all that sand for you to make that cactus sap. I highly recommend this guy for resource gathering. Um, I would assume that a lot of us have probably already used this guy already. But just in case you haven't, definitely check him out. But that's it, guys. That's the Dota Curious Taming. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit that sub button. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you all on the next one.